Oh, guy, she's going into the living room. It's clear she likes you so much better than me. She's like, Dad, come back. Come back, Diddy. Come back, Diddy. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is officially the first vlog of this year, 2021. I technically have uploaded a few videos where like it was a little bit formatted like a vlog, but this is officially like the first vlog vlog. I'm taking you guys along with my day and it is a studio vlog. So you guys saw this morning, I got up around, I think it was like 9.30 or 10, and then we came in here, made coffee, made bagel, I've been doing just a little bit of like admin work and then also I've been slightly obsessed with small business TikTok and I've been wanting to switch over my personal TikTok into a small business TikTok for my business, which is Planting Roses. So we're doing some research, coming up with ideas. I have to wait until the 8th to officially like switch my name on my TikTok to at Planting Roses. So waiting to do that. Currently right now, I think it's just... Jenna Beasley 93, I think, but I went through and I deleted a bunch of like my personal ones. I kept a few on there that like really showed my personality, a few of Penny and stuff like that. So people could actually see like me as a person and like what I'm obsessed with, which is my dog. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to start posting on there. Just some like fun little videos of my business and stuff like that. So yes, I still have my coffee here. It takes me hours to finish it, but I am currently waiting on a order of paper. I have some paper downstairs so I can go and start mass printing orders. We had our first release this past Friday of 2021 and everyone is loving all of the kits. And the really cool thing is like normally when I release a bunch of kits, there's like one or two that definitely sell a lot better than the others. But this release, like all four of the collections that I released pretty much sold like equally, which is really good to see um, and really good for me because I feel like I designed for equally good collections that everyone likes. So anyways, I'm going to stop yapping. Um, I need a shirt that says that. <laughs> I'm going to make a shirt that says I'm going to stop yapping. Um, but yeah, let's get into this day. I'm going to head downstairs. I'm going to start working for the day. Um, we just have a bunch of orders to process. So I'm going to print and cut those, foil them, and I'm going to do some more TikTok research and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into this video let's start working for the day and yeah let's do it <laughs> you're looking so beautiful today she's a good girl Okay friends, so it is now a lot later. I think it's like six something and I am just finished in the office. 
I do have something in the mail, which I really want to go and grab and show you guys, but we're gonna head upstairs and we are going to, Francis is already up here. We're gonna make some dinner, have a chill night. Ow, my toe. <laughs> So I have had a little bit of dinner and I actually had some leftover chicken paprikash. Um, I make it pretty often, probably like once a month and Francis and I absolutely love it. What are you doing? This dog. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I just finished up my dinner and I went out to the post and grabbed this, which this is something that was actually sent to me and I'm super excited to see them. I actually had the brand T-I-J-N, which I see all the time on Instagram. I don't know exactly how you pronounce the brand. I don't know if it's just T-I-J-N or if it's, I'm not even going to attempt to say <laughs> that word, um, but they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to pick out two pairs of glasses, which I'm so excited about. I actually don't remember the two that I picked out they're not subscription no <laughs> they're not prescription glasses but they are like blue light protecting which I know some people say that blue light glasses are kind of like a fake thing not not actually proven to be real but I feel like it is I think these glasses actually have blue light protection on them and I actually got these like from my eye doctors so I don't know but here are the two pairs of glasses. They come in these really cute, like faux leathery suede feeling cases. I'm so excited to see them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you guys will see here, these are the glasses that I've had for a very long time. They are actually prescriptions. These ones will be the ones that I mainly wear. I don't actually wear them that often. Really the only times that I need them is when I'm driving, which I I'm hardly ever driving anymore and then when I'm working on a computer or something so yes these ones are going to be ones that I wear as well these guys here um, just when I'm working on my computer and stuff just because I do that a lot and I feel like it's a good thing to do to protect your eyes but yes these ones are just my typical ones they're just black really simple ones they are the guess brand and i've had them for i don't even know how long years but these guys here are fogging up because they have been out in the cold so i will need to clean them but yeah these ones here i am very excited about i forgot that i got these ones but i will put the names of each of the glasses as i'm wearing them and trying them on for you guys but these ones, oh, do I look crazy? I feel like I might have to take my hair down. <laughs> I feel like I've been wearing the same glasses for so long that like different glasses look so funny on me. Oh no. <laughs> Why do these look so weird on me? Is it my eyebrows? It might be my eyebrow shape. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like they look funny. Penny, do I look funny? Yeah, I look funny, huh? She's looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, and then next are these ones. Oh my goodness. I don't, I didn't remember me getting these ones. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. They're like very like librarian esque glasses which I think might even like Harry Potter-esque if you will oh my goodness they're so cute <laughs> okay these ones are really cute they're so like minimal adorable <laughs> so yeah these are the little thin ones I feel like these ones make me look very librarian very cottage core, if you will. Very, what is the new thing? Academia? Is that the word? It sounds weird, but yeah, those are those ones. And then these are the other ones. Honestly, they're not bad. I think they're cute. I think they're just a lot bigger 
that I'm used to, like the ones that I've worn for the last like five years have been shorter this way. So it does look a little bit odd to me, but they're growing on me. We'll, we'll see how they, how they look after I've worn them for a while. <laughs> I, these ones definitely need a little bit of time for me to adjust to but anyways I am going to go and get ready I'm gonna work out tonight and then I'm gonna have a shower and then we're gonna have a little bit of a self-care night so let's go get our workout stuff on let's go do a workout and then treat ourselves with love It is now the next day. It is Wednesday. I'm here at my dining table. This is pretty much what I do every single morning. Um, I did quickly go over to the post office this morning, dropped off some orders. I got some Starbucks, which normally when I go and get, or like I go to the post office, I grab some Starbucks. I have my cinnamon dolce latte. I also grab my bacon gouda breakfast sandwich with no bacon. And then just for a little treat, and because I've been craving like a Rice Krispie treat, um, I got their like marshmallow, um, what is it called? Dream Bar. So good. Love it. I'm also wearing one of the new pairs of glasses. Still not quite sure about it. They're just, I think they're just bigger than I'm used to. But um, normally I come here, I sit, I have my planners here which if you guys don't know i have two planning roses planners which i do have planners if you're not aware i always have them linked down below they're for sale on the planning roses website but i have two of them the notebook one is just my like jot down a to-do list type one for work and then this one is the one that i like make pretty with all the stickers and stuff so i quickly go into both of these i fill out what i need to do for the day i do my like habit trackers and stuff in here and then we get to work after that. So I'm gonna quickly do this and I have my breakfast and then we're gonna head downstairs. I still am waiting for my paper shipment, which I still have a little bit of paper left. I printed a bunch of stuff yesterday, got that cut, which was really good. Um, I still need to foil stuff. So maybe we can go downstairs while we're waiting for the paper to be delivered and I'm going to um, foil all of the things that need to be foiled. I also can do the sticker albums as well because I got those finished so we can stick the stickers onto the albums and stuff like that so I do have some stuff to do while I wait for the paper so that is always good I hate when like I have nothing to do and I'm like waiting on something so it's good that I still have some stuff to do while we wait for the paper so anyways let's do my planner stuff and then we will get to work for the day
crazy, but honestly, I am very tired. I did not sleep the best last night. If you have a boyfriend that snores, please let me know. Is there just nights where he just snores so much that you just can't sleep? I do have like earbuds or like, um, what are they called? I'm too tired to think. Little ear earplugs. That's what they're called. I have earplugs, um, but they most of the time don't stay in my ears, so they just annoy me more than his snoring does. But um, yeah, I ended up not being able to sleep the best last night. Penny asked to go outside like twice, so I just felt like I was not sleeping at all last night. So I'm very, very tired. But we are up. We have our coffee. This is what's going to get me through the day. I normally only have one cup of cup of coffee but I will probably end up having another one a little bit later in the day but you guys can probably hear the printer printing in the background I'm just finishing off the mass printing from yesterday from the inkjet but because a lot of my stuff is foiled this release um, I do have to put everything through the laser printer um, the stuff that the laser printer prints out is what the foil sticks to so thank you very much printer um, I do have to do that, so I'm going to do that right now, and then I also have to cut everything and then foil everything after that, so it's going to be a pretty long day. It is Thursday, so I don't have a ton to do tonight, so I'll probably just work a little bit later. Um, Francis has his stream tonight, and I don't know what I'm really going to do tonight. I might just work all day, who knows, but um, hopefully I can get all of this done today. Um, I also want to finish off this vlog, get this up for you guys tomorrow, which is going to be Friday. And hopefully I'll get some footage tonight. Last night I didn't end up getting like any footage. You guys just saw me end off my day here at the desk with Penny. And then I had my live stream and then the rest of the night we kind of just chilled and, you know, hung out. I watched TikTok, watched some people on Twitch, stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's everything that I have to tell you guys. Uh, I'm going to get to work and then we're going to finish off this vlog, so... Let's do it. So it is now about 5 o'clock. I am finished working for now. I probably will have to come down here a little bit later today after I am finished making some dinner. But today definitely did not run as smoothly as I thought I was going to and I was hoping it was going to. Um, I did introduce foiled kits to my shop um, this past release and it's definitely a learning curve. It's different. There's different challenges that come with it. There's a lot more steps that come with it as well. So. I've just been having some issues with the laser printer and stuff like that. Um, things are just getting jammed and it's just very, very frustrating because I just like wish things would run smoothly. I'm trying not to cry because when I get frustrated, I end up crying. So we're not going to cry. I cry a lot. Proud crybaby right here. Anyone else? <laughs> um, but yeah, I am just done with it for now. I'm going to walk away, breathe a little bit. I have actually gotten all of the laser stuff printed for the most part. There might be a few things that I need to reprint, but everything is printed. So all I have left to do now is cut the stickers, which I have cut a few of them, and then I need to foil everything. So hopefully those two things run a little bit smoother than the printing process. Um, I have done the cutting and the foiling quite a bit, so I know that it can run smoothly. But just like introducing new things to your shop is definitely a learning curve and 
it's frustrating but once you get it it is good so hopefully we can figure out what is going wrong honestly have no idea what's going wrong with my printer it might just be the printer um but yeah i'm like i said gonna take a step away head upstairs make some dinner um maybe watch some videos or some twitch and i will see you guys a little bit later possibly down here but i actually might show you guys um me making dinner because i am making mashed potatoes in the instapot which i instant pot i always call it the instapot the instant pot because i absolutely love mashed potatoes and i really want to make them so yeah we're gonna make those and i'll show you guys how freaking easy it is to make stuff in the instant pot so let's head upstairs let's take a breather and then recenter ourselves and come back down here we got this let's go upstairs <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we are up in the kitchen Brent just bought us bubble tea because she knew i was upset about today it's work you're so nice I already chatted about it on the vlog. But anyways, um, I am now going to start making the potatoes, which first step is we have to peel all of them. So we're going to do that and then continue. <laughs> you dancing. <laughs> Okay, so all of the potatoes have been peeled and cut. I put them in here with some salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic because Francis said last time that they were a little bit boring. So I put in some garlic to add a little bit more flavor. And then I also put in a cup and a half of water. And then we're just gonna put the lid on. Not sure how long it goes on for high pressure, but we're gonna set that, let it go. And then I'll see you guys after once it is finished. Okay, so the mashed potatoes are officially finished, looking fluffy, looking beautiful. I'll see you can probably take out the chicken. We just made some barbecue chicken along with it in the oven. But you guys saw after the potatoes were finished cooking, I just added in a little bit of butter. Actually, not a little bit of butter. It's like eight tablespoons of butter. And then also, I think it was like a cup and a half of milk or half and half, so yummo. It's really dry. We should have timed it properly. <laughs> I forgot to time it. Mm. My bad. Dinner is served. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Time to watch Dexter. Sure. Yeah, baby. Season eight. Season eight, baby. Okay, so I have been putting off ending this vlog because I have just not had a good day and just I have not been in a very good headspace today and just thinking about ending this vlog and just thinking of all the footage that I've gotten thus far. I feel like I'm just a failure and I wanted the first vlog of 2021 to be absolutely 
amazing and I wanted to do this fun studio vlog with you guys and show you behind the scenes of my shop and stuff but like you guys saw today things did not go as I planned and it's just put me in a really really bad headspace and I do not like these days so I just want to apologize for that and hopefully this vlog is somewhat okay I I don't know I feel like I didn't really get a ton of footage but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed um, I'm going to try to just shake this off tomorrow's a new day um, So clearly you guys can tell that I'm definitely just not having a good day and hopefully finishing off this vlog and editing it and hopefully getting it up for you guys tomorrow will make me feel a bit better. Also just getting some more work done tomorrow I feel like will make me feel a lot better. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and chill for the rest of the night. I'm going to edit this vlog, maybe do a little bit of drawing on my iPad because I've really been enjoying that recently. And I will see you guys in the next vlog, which hopefully, fingers crossed, will be a little bit better. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for always supporting me and being here for me and all of that. So I appreciate you guys so much. Love you. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile and I will see you in my next video.